What's going on, everybody? It is your favorite Auntie Mo, and we are back for another episode review of Black Ink Crew Compton. This is season one, episode eight, Granny Off Haraka. Before we get into the review, if you are new to my channel, welcome. Please hit that subscribe button. Let me know what you think about this video with a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And then hit that notification bell so you will know whenever I upload new content. If you're a returning subscriber, what's going on? Auntie Show Enough missed ya. I hope you miss me. You like my shirt? This is the girl. You can get Sister Girl at Purposefully Crafty. I will put her information down in the description box below. Tell her your auntie Mo sent you. Sister Girl, her home girl, her mom and them, cousin, auntie and them. She make all kinds of black girl magic, okay? I've been slacking because I need to go get me another shirt. Because all of her stuff is popping. Trust me when I tell you. I ain't finna feed you nothing bad, okay? I'm going to put her information down in the box below. When you get some time, go on over to Instagram, check her out. And they some affordable shirts, too. Let me tell you, too, I done washed this shirt twice, forgot, and put it in the dryer both times. Still ain't lost. None of, ain't no shrinkage going on. None of that. Good quality shirt. This ain't no Miller the Mall ass shirt, okay? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Y'all, this episode was cute. It had some little cute, you know, here and there and that to it. But um, I enjoyed it. I got my mango strawberry Moscato ready. I hope y'all are ready for the review because I'm ready to give it to you. So let's get right on up into it. All right, y'all. So we just going to keep this little old thing going. We're going to pick it up where it left off, right? So they walked into the shop. It's ski ball in the shop. Ain't nothing up in there. Everybody looking around like, you did it. You did it. Not for you did it. Now who the hell did it? Next thing you know, KP walked through the door. He had a nice, scrumptious looking fruit cup in his head. Oh, let me tell you. In um, Austin, Texas, Texas mofo, that's where I stay. We let a hell out some fruit, a fruit cup with some chamoy on it. Or some of that, that chili powder. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That's how we do it. Especially Austin, Texas, San Antonio. We love the hell out some spices on some fruit cups. If y'all ain't had that in your life, when you pass by, like the, they look like the little hole in the wall, sometimes like little um, food trucks, the Mexican restaurant stands. Trust me, they food is off the chain. Tell them your auntie sent you, get you a fruit cup, get you some little chamoy. Me and my son had one yesterday, right hand of God. I had some mango with some little chamoy on top, and it was damn good. I'm getting all off subject. Who? that's the fat girl coming out. That's the fat girl. But anyways, he come in. He got that scrumptious looking ass fruit cup, and he like, what y'all do with everything? They're like, nah, Negro, what you do with everything? Because we just know you about to surprise us with a whole new shop or something. That's the only reason why all of my tattoo guns and my ink and my, my paper towels and my gloves and my alcohol pads and my band-aids, my saran wrap, my tape, all of that is gone because you about to put that in the new tattoo shop, right? He like, man, hell no. Where the security cameras at? Y'all, it's inside y'all. They done undid the doggone security cameras. So y'all don't even know who the hell done did it. KP called himself mad. This fool gone Throw the fruit cup at the wall. What the hell the fruit cup do? What you got? Boy, when I seen the disrespect, I want to snatch his ass up through that. You don't throw no good ass fruit cup. You don't do that. Me at the house cooking for Danielle, because y'all know Danielle is on bed rest until, you know, she goes and she gets to see her doctor, make sure everything is okay, right? He done made the mistake a giving this damn girl a bell, and she just a clinger, 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 every few doggone minutes. She want a snack, she hungry, this, that, and the other. I ain't gonna lie, I thought it was funny as hell just to see her getting on his nerves, because I would be doing that to my husband, getting on his doggone nerves. He went downstairs and he cooked a nice little old salmon dinner and all that. I was like, come here. You make ice cream and salmon, my nigga? Go ahead, then I ain't mad at you. Danielle is homesick. She's missing her family back in Philly. She said she hadn't seen her mom in about six or seven months. And this is a time that she's going through a real difficult part in her pregnancy now. And y'all remember, they still got to go to the doctor to go see what's going on with the baby. Skip ahead, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and skip ahead. They end up going to the doctor. Lo and behold, baby girl going to be all right. I was pregnant. Right hand of God. I said a prayer for them. The night that I watched this, this came on on what? Wednesday. I actually watched it last night, y'all. 
I said a long prayer for the both of them because I can't imagine what that would be like to have a child that, well, I can't because I do have a family member that, I, I don't know what I was, I do, I, I know what that's like because I have a family member that was born with, you know, spinal spinal injuries, well not injuries, but um, spinal deformities and so it's caused him to be in the wheelchair. But baby, when I tell you that wheelchair don't stop him, he run that wheelchair, that wheelchair don't run him. But just, I know what that would have been like. And y'all, for nothing else, Danielle gets on our nerves. She drives us up the damn, damn wall. But the way she loves Lemire and the way Lemire loves her and takes care of her is so cute to me, y'all. I love their relationship because I love love. So I love to see how he loves on her, how he's affectionate to her. I bet you she done had a breeze in this pregnancy on not feeling alone. Cause I know that man has been there and I just love their little relationship y'all. She get on my damn nerves. And Lamira, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and bring your happy ice ass on over here to Austin, Texas. Cause I'm tired of following you on Instagram and it's happy ice <sighs> looking good as hell through this doggone HD phone. Woo. KP at the shop, he on the phone with Tim trying to see Hey, fool, ain't nobody trying to pawn my stuff. Y'all need to keep an eye on these doggone streets. You know what I'm saying? Tim like, nah, I ain't seen nothing, no quality, this, that, and the other. Next thing you know, Barbie walks through the door. Baby, her best biker club vest with the chesticles sitting up like two, boom, ready to pop somebody's eye out. So she was like, um, so what happened to your furniture? Is it gone? Would you like it back, Negro? Basically, it was Barbie that stole it. She pulled the hem on him. When she wanted her stuff back and he didn't want to open up the RV, she was like, oh, okay, I have to go spend the whole night in jail because you wanted to play around. But check this out. I done came up in here and I done took your stuff. So now how you like how that feel? I'm going to give it back to you when I feel like giving it back to you. Now how you feel about that? Child, he mad. He tell Barbie, go and get the hell on up out of my shop. She said, okay, we'll have fun sitting on the floor, my nigga. Y'all, they was friends for years, like he said, and he never expected for her to snap and go off the way that she did. So hopefully they can come back from whatever this is. Because you know what I was thinking? I was in the shower thinking about this because I was thinking about, oh, damn, I got to get this review done. It's good to have a relationship as a woman. It's good to have a relationship with a man that you consider to be a brother and he ain't trying to get up in your cookies or nothing. It's a real, true, genuine friendship. That's few and far in between. Because either the cross, it done cross your mind, it done cross his mind, and he done acted on it, and y'all can't be friends no more. Like, I like their relationship, though. So hopefully they can mend that, they can come back from that, because girl, Bobby, you... <laughs> The whole shop, though, Nessie and Voodoo was there drunk with you. They had their stuff locked up, too. Why you had to take their stuff? You took, took everybody else stuff for theirs. So it's the next day, and I guess Barbie has some time to marinate on her actions. So she had them bring the stuff back to the shop. Timmy KP in there unloading everything. They forgot how the doggone shop look, how it's put together. So they don't know what the hell to do. Finally, everybody else starts showing up and they was like, they was pissed because KP had actually texted them that night and told them that Barbie was the one that stole all their stuff, right? So everybody's back at the shop. They're trying to get everything together. Tim lets them know because of what happened at the photo shoot when Alana tried to slut shame Voodoo for her being a cam girl, they didn't get any good pictures for that billboard that he wanted to put up down on Crenshaw Boulevard or some dog on where he ain't getting no good photos for that, but he has another idea in mind that he can do that they can put a big, like, sort of poster billboard on the side of the shop to get more, you know, people that come in for that. Now, y'all, later on, I'm just going to skip to this. Well, actually, it is when they go to the shop to have do this, like, they end up having a party, right? But before I get to the party later, before that, he revealed what the supposed billboard is supposed to be to bring in more customers to the shop. It's a big ass poster of KP and he don't even look right. Like the picture was real weird. It didn't look right. It's just like a picture you just need to have on your phone or something somewhere or you can put in your albums or like kicking it or something on Instagram or Facebook or something like that. That ain't no picture you need to put on the post and draw in more people. You need to have the people that's actually working in there the tattoos and piercing and all of that. Or doing the art and the music and all of that. Have them on the post and the billboard. 
Why just you? I know you are content, but you are not alone. You got other folk that's working with you too. But then again, that was Tim. Tim was the one that decided to put that together because, of course, KP was all right. He was like, man, this is fucking beautiful. What you mean y'all like this? Drippin's little brother shows up to the shop looking like Busy Bone. They so doggone cute. I think he said they're Hispanic and black. They dog so, they cute as hell. He ends up finishing up this tattoo on his brother's chest. Another rose. Why do people just do roses all the time? I guess because roses are old school to me. Yes, I got a rose on me. I got two up too. But that's what I did back in the 90s. This is damn near 3000s. Like, y'all gonna have to elevate from doggone roses. He did a rose on his chest, and I'm going to be completely 150 with you. That tattoo was so basic. There was nothing that stood out about it. It looked like a drawing. It didn't look, and I, and I don't mean like a portrait drawing. It just looked like how you at work, and you in a meeting, but you got a piece of paper, and so you like doodling, and so you know how you draw that bomb ass picture, that rose, and you like, oh, I like this rose. That's the rose I drew in that meeting when I wasn't paying no damn attention to what they was talking about, because the whole meeting could have been an email any doggone way. That's the kind of rose that it looked like. It didn't look like nothing like, oh, bing, ba bang, bang, pow. But anyways, we get to learn the backstory on Ink Dripping. He says he's five years, five years older than his little brother, that his father got addicted to drugs when he was nine years old, left his mother with um his left his mother with three kids. Him, his brother, and his little sister. He said his little sister was a baby when he left, so he had to step up and be the man of the house. He had to let his mama sleep sometimes at night. He would get up change his sister, feed his sister. He had to, you know, take care of his younger siblings because basically he had to be the man of the house. So he's got like a lot of resentment towards his dad because his dad walked out and left. And so he don't want no kind of relationship or nothing like that with his dad. He's got his own little daddy issues or whatever that he's dealing with with that. Later on, we see his sister and his brother actually come and meet up with him later and try to come up with an idea or basically bring the idea to him of meeting up with their father so they can basically sit down and have a discussion. And Ink gets mad and walks off. He's like, no, I don't need to talk to him. Talk to him for what? He didn't want to stick around. He didn't want to raise his kids. He throws drugs over his kids. So, no, I don't have nothing to say to him. Ink got to get over that before he can talk to his daddy. He got to go seek some counseling, deal head on with his daddy issues before he can actually open up to his daddy and be receptive to anything that he says. Because other than that, it's either going to go on one ear after the other if he does talk to him or he going to be on defense mode the whole dog on time. So, y'all, we going to pray on that little scene right there because that boy hurt. He need a hug. Y'all was super cute. Lemire put together a surprise baby shower for Danielle. I thought that was so bomb that he did that. Now, the editing was a little bad with that. Because she walked in, she had on one little pink dress, and her hair was one way. But then it's like they cut the camera here, and then you turn back, and then she's got on a completely different pink dress, and her hair is different, and her makeup is fully done. I don't know if VH1, well, yeah, VH1 set that up like that. I'm sure she knew that they was going dog going to be there. That wasn't no dog on surprise. Black folks can't keep no dog on secret like that any dog on way. It was cute. But the only people he invited from the shop were KP and Tim. He said he didn't want no drama with, with nobody else going on with that, right? The food at that shop would look good as hell, y'all. Ooh, them cupcakes. I love me a pretty ass cupcake. That is my favorite treat in the whole doggone world, y'all. Cupcakes. I'm a fat kid that loves some doggone cupcakes, y'all. Security ended up calling the mirror and telling them that some stranger is walking up the driveway. Get ready. Because I don't know who the hell it is. Lemire and Danielle end up going outside. And it's Nessie. Nessie shows up with a big ass giraffe. Basically like a peace offering. And some little um, all stars that she painted for the baby girl. And I thought that was so dope. Because that's personal. That's really personal. Like you did that on your own. You took the time to do that. That was her peace offering. Like look here. Me and you didn't get a chance to talk. Because the last time they had any interaction. When they was on the beach. That team building thing. When Danielle came in there on the hunted thinking that Nessie was messing around with Lemire. So she was like, look here, I just want to clear the air, air and let you know ain't no bad blood. You know, Lemire is my boy. Hopefully you and I can be friends. Like, I just want you to know I ain't never messing around with that dude. We cool. That's it. 
it is what it is. And I was proud of Danielle. Danielle was like, you know what? I apologize too because I shouldn't have responded that way. I shouldn't have came in there acting that way. She invited her in to keep the party going. Y'all, again, Danielle gets on my nerves, but I respect her so much more from that because although she messed up, she apologized. Yes, that girl approached her first and she even walked outside like, what the hell is she doing here? But she bowed down, she humbled herself, and she apologized to that girl. Danielle, you all right with me till next episode and you do something to get on my dog on nerves. The baby shower was cute. Everybody was wearing pink. I'm guessing baby girl's name is going to be Summer because this was the baby shower that I was telling y'all I seen on Instagram. That's that one. It was cute. I liked it. It was really, really cute. So Ink and Alana went out on a bike bar for her 21st birthday. Y'all, that don't sound fun to your auntie. A bike bar? So I got to drink and pedal at the same damn time? I don't want to do that. I just want to sit back, chill, people watch, maybe do a little something. But you know, I don't. I'm not trying to paddle and and do all of that. That's too dark. That's that's that don't seem fun to me. I'm sorry. That don't seem fun to me. If you've ever been on a bike bar, let me know. Is the point of it you supposed to sweat out the liquor as you drinking it so you don't really get drunk? You just get a buzz. And a workout at the same time like how does that go make that make sense to me that's all i'm saying they have a little good time y'all ew i ain't ew let me just ew 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 let me just get this out now ew so they shared a kiss she said she wanted some gum right ink was chewing on some gum right they started kissing shorty had the gum in her mouth afterwards chewing it chewed up gum y'all i'm sorry i know a lot of y'all into that nasty stuff i was looking at somebody else's post about something and they said something about spitting in somebody's mouth i said oh no ma'am no you're not not with the herpes and the mono and the h1n1 and the monkey outbreak that be roaming around in thus air no you will not but hey we was all young and wild and sexually free at some point in time. But, you know, I take that back because Auntie, Auntie Mo, girl, you ain't never chewed up the gum out like some chewed up stuff out somebody's mouth. No, ma'am, that's not what we do. Later on at the after party that they had for this grand showing of this billboard, which was a big-ass poster of KP, they all back at the shop. They chilling. Voodoo sitting over there, buzz like voodoo. And Alana comes up to Voodoo, and they have a little girl talk, and Alana tells her, guess what? <laughs> so, Ink and I went on a date, <laughs> and we kissed. <laughs> and so they, you know, had a little girl talk or whatever from there. Ink back looking like, is this trick really on me? You're telling all my mother, like, man, you know what I'm saying, bitch, I got out of the house, why you saying something? But you know what I'm saying, it is what it is. Everybody chilling, right? Barbie come walk in with two of her homegirls, Hey, time to keep the party rolling. What y'all doing up in here? This party look kind of dead. KP like, girl, what the hell? You? I told you don't pray. You ain't welcome around here. What is you doing? Try next thing you know, Alana want to add her two cents in it. Barbie and Alana starts going at it. It was really silly. Really, really dumb and silly. Y'all, and um, the episode pretty much ended with KP telling Barbie, get out. You not welcome here. She like, bye. See ya. We don't want to be it. To hell with the whole doggone shop. And the episode ended from there, y'all. Like I said, it wasn't a whole lot of drama with this. I actually, my favorite part was actually the baby shower. Just because I loved to see all the pink. Y'all know pink is your auntie favorite color. Hence why this is one of my favorite shirts. Because of the pink in it. But... Hopefully, y'all like this review. If y'all seen it and I missed anything, please do not hesitate to put it down below and let me know. Please don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share because your auntie is fresh out of wine. And Auntie Mo will see you in the next video. Peace out. What's up, y'all? Do me a favor and share the video. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think and um, hit that notification button so you will be up to date when I upload my latest videos. Ahala.